Okay, I've done most of the decorating of the pages. I just thought I would pop back to show you the last part. Um, what I've done, I've taken the paper cover off and it was a lovely cream colour. So I've just inked the edges up with Distress Oxide um, Vintage Photo. And I've just gessoed on the spine to get rid of some of the writing but I don't think you'll really notice it I'm going to put this lovely piece of lace over and I'm going to use three in one and um, because I don't have fabric tack I think this is just as good as fabric tack so I'm just going to spread a reasonably good layer of this on because it is uh, really tacky so I'm sure this will stay on with it so I'll just put it on the spine first give it a sort of a nudge up and down to spread the glue out of it and then I need to get it onto the sides just here so I think that will look uh, quite good so I'm just going to put some on the edges here I don't want it too tight because I don't want it hindering with the opening of the book. Let's see where that comes to. I won't be long finishing this off because it is hot, hot, hot here. So we do have the aircon on, but I've just had to shut the door to film this last part. Can't really see the writing through there, which is fine. Um, I'm not going to tuck it in because I don't want to mess about with the spine of the book, you know, the pages. So I'm just going to trim off. Let me get some decent scissors. Oops. So I'm just going to trim that off, make it look a bit neater. And when the glue is properly dry, what I will do is put a bulb pin and a dangle on the, on the pin it through the lace. There we go. Let's get rid of those bits. So I'll give you a flip now and we'll just finish the inside pages. I've got all the ephemera cut out, ready to go. There's lots of journal cards in this kit. So I'm going to slot them into the pockets and, oops, back to front. Okay, this is the front page. Two little journal slips in there, in the pocket. And I've just left all the pr front pages and the back page of the book plain because they were just nice cream pages. Any bit of writing I have just covered up. I've made a belly band with one spare bit of paper here and glued it in the middle and put two little tags in. So this is really more of a, a diary. It's a proper journal. There's lots of writing space. I've stamped um, this book belongs to here. This was um, in a swap, this beautiful mesh with stars and moons on. So I've just stuck a piece of that over and a piece of lace on the top. I stuck it in with double line, red liner tape and then stuck the lace on with uh, three in one. A pocket there with music paper and lace edging. I've used the same lace throughout. Journal spaces. I've put a part of a belly band on here to make a pocket. There's a side pocket here with a journal card and I've just sewn a tab on, sewn round it on the sewing machine. So that sticks out a little bit there. Journal spaces, pocket there with one of the large tags from the kit and I told you last before that I'd just stamped them and stuck some mason jar stickers on. A long ways pocket here with one of the postcards on stamped a little flower on there 
plain pages and an envelope here which I just need to put on one of the little tabs to act as a closure. So I just put a circle punch, put two or three pieces together and then just less than half of the circle and then just glue it down and then it'll just um, act as a closure. So I need a couple of little journal cards in here. So there's two nice ones. I have inked round all these. Just put two in there. Just a bit of extra interest when they open the envelope. And that slots down there. Plain page, plain pages. A double pocket here. All trimmed with lace again. And I've just put tags in and one of the postcards and journal cards. A piece of a belly band that was left over here from this one. And just the end that was left, I just a bit of added extra interest there. And a postcard. So I used that belly band as a pocket, just glued it around the three sides. And I've put a little piece of ribbon with a bull pin and a little charm on the edge journal space and journal space and what and this one I'm going to put a pocket but I'll come back to that this is another side pocket with lace on this is a side pocket with another envelope and what I've done here is I've just used a plain piece of writing paper and I've just put some ephemera that I was gifted in a swap all wrapped up in the paper That all just slots in the envelope there. And the same type of closure as before. So you can have that just sticking out the edge of the slot there. Now this, to use the corners up, I think I've shown you this before, I just put them, glued them round the two sides and so you've got like a double pocket there at the top and at the bottom. Lots in journal cards. Now here, uh, these fasteners were uh, G Care showed a video uh, last week, I think it was. So I was sat last night making quite a few of these because they're always handy to have on hand. And while we were watching the football, I made quite a few of these with different brads in craft card and white card so they're always handy to keep on in a little box ready for use so these pockets need attaching down so you just glue them down I'll link G's video to the bottom of mine um, so it just keeps that little flap closed and they just twist round which is quite handy I'll not twist that one yet while uh, the glue's still a bit damp. So you've got pockets there, so I'll put a journal card or a tag in each of those. And I found these um, tickets in one of the swaps that I got as well, so I thought I could use those. There's another one here, just roughly ink around the edges. Go on the corner of these two pages, I think. I seem to like everything in symmetry. Symmetry. Um, if I've got something on one page, I'd like to have something similar on the opposite page. So that's that page, double spread finished. And that's got a side pocket as well, just another journal card. There was two pieces of paper left over, so I used them and just put lace over the middle to join to hide the join. And that's the back now. So what I'm going to just do, I've got three pages near the middle that are all sort of journal pages. So on this one, I've referred back to my reference journal 
and I've found a triple pocket like this one that's got a triple uh, three pockets in so I made one and I'll just quickly show you how to fold it I'm sure you've all done these before it's just an A4 piece of paper and you fold in half one way then you fold in half lengthways then this is going to be your largest fold and then the one corresponding at this on the right hand side you fold underneath not as much deeper fold as that one and this one is the smallest fold and then you just bring them all up together and you've got your three pockets there so I just thought of uh, putting that in there Oh, have we got one that goes that money that doesn't really need one no we'll stick with it there and I know it's gonna stick in there so let's just glue this down I'll glue all the flaps just with a quick daub of glue first and then we'll find some ephemera to decorate it up with this is just some um, printer ink it must have been the dregs that were left in the tub because it obviously wasn't enough to do the full sheet. So uh, it's just got a few splatters on. But as the journal's mostly sort of very pale pinks and lilacs, I thought it would do. I'll glue that across there, then nothing falls out of the bottom. And then that last bit there. So that makes a nice triple pocket and I shall slot that on that page. So I'll just quickly glue that in and then this journal is practically complete. So I shall pop this into my Etsy shop at the weekend as today is Wednesday the 7th of July and that's that all done so I want some journal cards to go in there I've got quite a few left so I might just use actually I might just glue one of the journal cards in the top corner that very top piece down okay like that so then we can put one tag in there another tag and we'll use all the rounded top ones so they're fine in there so what I did want to do is put something on the front here maybe one of the smaller journal cards and then just run a piece of the lace that I've used throughout the book on that top, sorry, the bottom pocket. So if I just put that in the corner and then get some three in one glue and I'm sure I've got a small piece of the lace left, enough to trim the pocket. the lace on here and I will have a small piece left still so I'll find somewhere in the journal that that will go cut that in an angle there we go so that just matches it all up with the rest of the pages just trim that off there Right, that's that page done. So we've still got a few journal cards and ephemera to slot in. So we'll have a quick whiz through and see where we can put, we'll put another one in there. Go 
don't need one there. There's nothing there. Like I said, there's lots of journal space. Slot one in there. And we do have this hidden paper clip, which we could secure some of the journal cards under there. Yeah. I shall put it on here and put some of the journal cards underneath like that and then we'll find some more pockets for this last bits of ephemera put another tag in there with that envelope these are a little bit on the small side what I'll do with these I'll use them to decorate instead of using as journal cards so if you remember this kit was from Janie B and it's called Two Hearts and it's really pretty so it's just a matter of two pieces left now we could slot one in that shallow pocket there And maybe on the back pages there I try not to overthink things otherwise you'll be thinking about it and not making any decision so I'm going to slot that one there and the last thing I have to do now is just use a fastener just get rid of these glues and as the kit was called Two Hearts, I've got these fasteners, she said. I did get one out. What have I done? There it is. The little screw ones, and this is a little heart. So I thought of putting that there with a piece of elastic and think the smallest hole in the crocodile will do this. I'm hoping I can get it through here. Yep, perfect. So that just slots in, or rather the screw goes up through the and it screws on. Feels like that's gone a bit cross screwed. I need a little screwdriver which I'll have to go into the kitchen for. So um, I'll put another hole in the bottom cover and then you attach a piece of elastic that just ties into the bottom hole and then comes over and hooks over this. So that is one journal finished. And I don't think I shall even put anything on here because I think it just looks nice as in the cream. Okay, thanks for watching people and I shall see you next time. And thanks to Janie B for letting me use this kit. Okay, thank you. Bye.